The previous video showed how to install and start using RStudio. Remember that RStudio is just an interface to R, so now it's time to start learning the R programming language. The best way to learn to program is by simply trying to program. Hence, I will offer little actual explanation in this video. However, it can help a great deal to know where to begin, so I will introduce you to two tutorials. After completing at least one of these, you should be sufficiently prepared to give some easy exercises a try. If you're not watching this video in the context of a course, you can find a large list of free exercises with solutions on r-exercises.com. Before I show the tutorials, there is one thing I will explain which often puzzles beginners. If you write something in the console and press enter, one of three things will happen. 1. You press enter and the code runs successfully. Output may be printed, an object may be saved or altered in the working environment, and in case of anomalies you'll see a warning, but the code has still run. 2. You press enter and the code returns an error. Whenever this happens, you can simply press the up arrow on your keyboard to retrieve your previous inputs, and from there you can try to correct your expression before trying to press enter again. 3. This is the one that often causes confusion. You press enter and R returns a plus sign because it interprets your input as an unfinished expression. This happens for example if you open a bracket but forget to close it. If this happens, just press escape. If that doesn't work, click anywhere in the console and then press escape again to clear the plus sign. You can press the up arrow to retrieve your previous input if that's what you want. If you'll recall from the last video, the environment pane also contains a tab with a built-in tutorial. This is the LearnR package. If you click here, this will install a set of tutorials. Wait for the installation to finish and you can start by pressing Start Tutorial. From there on out, everything should be self-explanatory. I recommend that you try all of the tutorials in this package. For ease of viewing, you can adjust the window size or open the tutorial in a new window like this. The other set of tutorials that I highly recommend are from the Swirl package. These run from within the console. To start using Swirl, first install the package like this, then open the library like this, and finally type Swirl open and close brackets to start running Swirl. From this point, Swirl explains itself in the console. Once prompted to choose a course, select 1, the R programming course. Within this course, for a basic understanding of R, I would recommend that you complete the chapters 1, 2, 4, 7, and 8. From there on, you should be reasonably equipped to start figuring out exercise on your own. Of course, you're also free to try out others to improve your programming skills. If after this you still want to try out additional tutorials, you can type 2 from the main menu to visit the course repository. This will display the courses available, as well as how to install one. Thank you for watching.